Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is TechJ Media, and today we're gonna to talk about my PC build. So if you noticed, I'm in a different background too. Uh, that's because I moved to a new studio. So this is where I actually do all my work at now. Um, and then my other place that I have uh, is basically my home place, my home, it's my home studio where I actually do most of my gaming at. So I came from a Mac Pro. It was a core processing unit. Uh, they had 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it just started getting really, really slow for the 4K editing work that I was doing. But most importantly, was just the rendering time was just so long. So the GTX 1080s came out, and I was reading about this new i7 10-core processor, and I just wanted a new rig. And the Mac Pro wasn't being upgraded at the time, so I said, you know what? It's been 15 years since I've actually put together a rig, so I did it. So let's get into the components of this rig. So I chose the Intel i7-69 Extreme 10-core processing unit. The reason why I chose this is because I am a freak with speed and higher cores in a single processing unit. So the motherboard that I chose to set this PC unit on is the ASUS Deluxe 2 X99. This baby can keep up with the overclocking that I push it to, and I think it's at 4.3, which is the highest that I could. And if you guys can give me some hints below as to how I can push this baby a little further without the computer rebooting because of clocking issues, please leave your comments below and give me some tips on how I can make that better. And what I have cooling the processor is the H100 liquid cooling system. I picked this because it was one of the most popular ones on Amazon. And I figured, well, hey, I can't lose on this um, until I start going into a water-based cooling system, which I haven't gotten into yet. And a part one until later on, until I start understanding a little more of the overclocking. I have 32 gigabytes of Cores Air RAM, and this is the, the DDR4 3000 megahertz. XMP is enabled. The power supply unit that I chose was the EVGA 1000 watt, and it's the semi-module one. It's the gold edition. So I love gaming. So the graphic card that I chose was the NVIDIA GTX 1080. Um, I got two of these babies because I wanted to do the SLI for gaming and turn the SLI off when I was doing video editing. However, when I came across um, DaVinci Resolve, there was an issue uh, with a PC and having dual graphic cards. However, there was a workaround on this. And the workaround that I found was if you keep the graphic cards in SLI mode, DaVinci Resolve actually recognizes it as two graphic cards and I can actually enable both of them. So that's a huge, huge tip for anybody color grading or editing in um, DaVinci Resolve and, and you have two graphic cards and you have problems with them. When it comes to storage, for me, I don't like any bottlenecks, so I completely went SSD. I have a 256 Samsung Pro, the NVM SSD. I also have two Samsung one terabyte SSDs. One of them is for my master projects, while the other one backs up everything. I also have a Samsung 500 SSD, and this baby is strictly houses my gaming. So now the case that I currently have is the Fantech Evolve, and this is the Tempered Glass Edition. The Tempered Glass really gives it a really elegant look, especially when you have the RGB lighting in there and it's turned on. I also purchased the Fantech's RGB lighting connector, uh, and I got this on Amazon. Again, I'll leave the link below. Uh, but it just leaves a really nice looking glow to it, uh, whatever color you choose. And that's another thing I liked about this case too, was it actually had a dedicated button where you can hit it and you can change the color of the LEDs uh, just out of a push of a button. This case came recommended from Hardware Canucks and I freaking love it. It's heavy, but how often are you transporting it really? It is a pretty big rig, but again, it's it houses everything I need for my two graphic cards and this inside just looks beautiful. All right, guys, so that's it. These are my components, and this is my PC build that I did for myself for my gaming, for my virtual reality, uh, for my video editing, as well as my color grading. I mean, there's no bottlenecks for this computer, and it hasn't disappointed me where my Mac Pro, I found myself waiting a lot more, um, especially when it comes to my jobs. When it comes to video editing, it's like I had to edit a video and then another video, and then I had to export like three or four videos in one day, and time is an essence. So this rig, was a perfect build for my workstation as well for gaming. All right guys, that's it for me. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me any comments below on any of the components that I chose or if you would have chose something different. Uh, everything that I described will be in the links below. And of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe so that way you can see more videos in the future. All right guys, thanks for hanging out.